This morning in Health Watch, shoppers high. While this is a stressful time of year, searching for that perfect gift may actually activate parts of the brain that brings us pleasure. We're joined by Dr. David Solzer of Columbia University. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. All right, explain exactly what happens to the brain when we go shopping. Okay, so here's, uh, this gives you a little idea of how the brain would sit in your skull. And there's a release of neurotransmitter, the, uh, particularly dopamine, which is released from this area in the brain, near the pituitary. And it has two uh, extensions, one to the cortex up here, the frontal cortex, and another one to this interior structure deep in the brain. And depending upon uh, the balance between the signals here and the signals here, you make a decision about whether you're going to purchase something or not. So, okay, let's say I want to purchase it and I get it. That automatically makes me happy? Well, it's not quite that simple. Usually dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that is involved in addiction and is also involved in reward and learning. It's also the neurons that you lose in Parkinson's disease. Normally, this is turned on not just during pleasure and decision making, but when there's something that is uh, novel, unexpected, or intermittent. So if you're going into a department store and you find a sale, or you're uh, trying on clothes and you're getting surprises, this is exactly the sort of situation where we'd expect there to be a lot of dopamine release. Oh, so even just window shopping or trying on things that I like will make me happy? If it's, uh, if it's sort of uh, uh, reinforcing and a surprise, it's likely to lead to dopamine release. Wow, interesting. Dr. David Sulzer, thank you so much.